Hi everyone! Like I had mentioned in my um, last or second to last video, I am actually pre-filming quite a few videos um, a little bit ahead of time because I am actually um, going to have to go to the hospital to have surgery this week and um, I just wanted to make sure that I have a few videos um, available for me f at my disposal just because I wanted to make sure I can still upload videos and I don't know how soon I will actually feel good enough to film again so um, it's nothing major but um, I just wanted to make sure I have enough time to rest and relax actually so um, yeah I decided that um, since I have like a day until it is time for me to film this update anyway I would film my um, my uh, full face project PM video which is a collaboration with uh, Mary from Rudy's Diary so um, we had decided that we wanted to do another project pan. Um, we wanted to do a project 10 pan, so we wanted to finish up 10 products. And we wanted to um, choose products that would um, end up being pretty much a full face of makeup. So um, what I did for my um, challenge for this project was I left out a primer because I currently um, just started a new primer. And while I know I can use this one up, it would not be much of a challenge. Plus, I want to be able to experiment with primers. I also left out mascaras because I um, actually move my mascaras out every three months, like a clockwork, and I don't really see the point in putting them in project pants unless I want to have a safe bed. And I have um, some safe beds in here already. So I decided to um, just not bother with it and um, just um, do it this way. So, um, instead of talking for too long, I'm just going to get started. There was not a lot that I could really actually mark. So, I'm just going to go and show you where I'm at and I'll talk about them a little bit. For starters, I have my foundation and this is um, the Wet n Wild Cover All um, Cream Foundation. This um, is in the shade Fair and it comes in one fluid ounce. I have been using this mostly for filmy days. And currently I am about here. So as you can see I've made a little bit of progress but not very much. Now as I use these on, this one only on filming days because I do actually break out if I wear this for too long. I just um, decided that um, since we are doing this for roughly seven months and we now have six months left. We wanted to finish this on February 15th. So um, I think I can, I can make this work if I have another six months. And I can use this one up until then, so I'm okay, I'm good to go. My next product is a powder, and this would be the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder Waterproof. And um, this one, I actually had hit pan on that right before I started, I filmed my intro. Like the morning um, of filming my intro when I put on my makeup, um, I had hit the tiniest amount of pan, and this is where I'm at right now. As you can see, there is quite a bit of pan showing now, but it is a powder, so it was pretty much bound to be gone sooner rather than later. And um, I do like this a lot. I actually bought a backup of this already, and um, it is waiting for me. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy with this progress. The next product is my contour powder, and this is actually a NYX powder blush. This is in the shade Taupe, and this is where I'm at right now. When I first put this in, I had um, worked down the, um, the little raised nubs that it has um, significantly, and now they are barely there. I hope you can see this. Like, if I show this from the side, maybe you can hopefully see there's barely any of the um, nubs left. You can still see where it's indented, where it was um, pressed in. And I need to really um, get the hard pan off of that. I don't know what is going on. I've been using clean brushes. Um, so, um, I don't know if it's just this product or if it's something else, but I have to make sure, maybe my brush wasn't dry, that could be. So, um, I need to uh, remove the hard pan of that, but I'm very happy with this. I do like this a lot. I contour a little bit right here, and, um, sometimes I um, put it on the sides of my nose because for some reason my nose always looks relatively big in ca on camera. But, um, all in all I do like this quite a bit, and I think... I think it's reasonable for me to think that half a year from now, if I only use this one as my contour powder, I uh, should be able to use this one up. 
The next product is the blush I chose for this one and this was actually quite surprising. I chose the MNY by Maybelline blush in the shade 101 and it's what I have on my cheeks right now. It is a very very light pinky blush with um, quite some shimmer particles in it. Um, some would maybe even call some of those particles um, glitter particles but they tap off the brush so they don't show up too much on your skin. Now, um, when I first started using this, I only had like this um, the small um, fleck here that was um, used up. And at the end of last month, at the end of July, I actually had to repress this because I had hit quite a bit of pan and um, I couldn't get enough product on the brush anymore to um, really make this work for me. So um, repressing was the only way to go and I don't know if that was it but um, or if it was the age of the product because this is easily five or six years old. Um, so it has gone very powdery after repressing it and um, this is actually what I have left. I hope you can see this. There is not a lot left and I'm very surprised by that because I thought I would be using this one a lot longer. But um, on the other hand I know that a... Um, a blogger that I um, actually know from Instagram, um, she actually mentioned that as soon as you hit pan, these go incredibly fast. And um, this is what I experienced actually, because this is like a month later and um, there's barely anything left. So yeah, once you hit pan, these go very, very fast. I'm not too sad about this because it is my last non-cruelty free blush. So I'm very, very happy to move this out of my way. Um, on the other hand, I feel like if that's what happens as soon as you hit pan or repress this, that is a bummer because even though this was not very expensive, I think it was maybe 3 euros, uh, that is just very, very fast. The next product I have is my highlighter and yes, I chose a highlighter and I chose a full-size highlighter. I decided to go with the um, Wet n Wild um, Fergie Collection, Center Stage Collection um, Highlighter in Rosé Champagne Glow. And this is where I'm at right now. Um, I don't know if you can see this from the side, but I have moved down the, the dome of this quite a bit. And um, I am using this pretty much every day. I use this as a cheekbone highlight and sometimes as an inner corner highlight if I feel like it. I do like this a lot. Um, I have to say, at first I thought maybe this is too glittery and um, depending on how the sun sh um, shines on my on my face and on my cheekbones, it can be a bit um, on the uh, more shimmery side, but I still do like this as a highlighter because it is very subtle and it does not give me too much of an insane highlight. Um, it's perfect for every day that way. And since most of my blushes have some shimmer particles or glitter particles as well, um, Maybe the, the what I saw in the mirror um, when the sun was shining was actually from that. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. Now we're gonna move on to the next product, um, just because um, I don't want to make this video for way too long. The next product is my uh, last Mac paint pot, and it is in Let Me Pop, which is this beautiful color. And. When I started this, it was brand new and I've been using this every single day as my eye base. Sometimes as the only um, eyeshadow that I was using and I have made quite a bit of a dip here. There is a ton of product left of course. But I am very confident that I can use this one up um, within the next six months if I continue using it the way I have been using it. So I'm very happy about this guy. Then for eyeshadows, um, I chose my um, another MAC product, my um, MAC um, Eyeshadow Quad in Bare My Soul. This is also in Project Use It Up and this is where I'm at right now. So you probably can't see too much of progress. This one was used up already. This was at the same stage as it is right now. But let me see if I can angle this so that it actually shows up. Maybe there. So hopefully you can see that I have made a little bit of a dip in this dark brown shade here. This is the shade called uh, Friendly. I have made quite a dip in here because I am currently using this as my um, crease shade or outer V shade. I do like this quite a lot. I've been um, mixing this in with the um, Burberry Wet and Dry Silk Shadow in the shade Pale Barley, which I am trying to pan for Project Use It Up as well. And um, 
I set the goal for another project pin to actually hit um, use up half of this. So I'm very close to that and um, until I, then I want to continue on with this um, combination whenever I um, use um, pale barley. I'll just use the uh, friendly shade here in my um, crease. For eyeliner I decided to go with another MAC product and MAC fluid line in the shade Rich Ground. And I have made quite a bit of progress here and I hope you can see this. There is a lot of pan showing at the bottom here. Since I've hit that pan I've moved on to one of the sides here just to be working on it and make, making it bigger bit by bit and just working on it um, diligently. I don't wear this today. I don't have this on right now but um, at this rate that I'm using this I'm, I'm okay with it and I know that I can work on this. It is a nice shade. I'm very sad that this um, color is uh, MAC in general is not cruelty free. But I don't think this color is too unique so I am pretty sure I can find a, an alternative that is cruelty free after I've used this one up. Then I decided I also wanted to use an eyebrow product and I ended up going with my Alverde Transparent Eyebrow Gel. Now just has this um, relatively big um, wand here. And I use this almost every day. I don't know when this will be gone. I can't really measure any progress here because it is an opaque packaging. But eventually I know it will run out and I have another six months. I'm confident I can do this. My tenth product is a lip gloss and um, this is the Bobbi Brown lip gloss in the shade Crystal. So this is just a clear lip gloss as you can see. I haven't used this at all yet and the reason behind that is that I actually have another lip product in this project pan. My 11th product or my bonus item is actually um, a product I changed um, soon after um, filming and um, uploading my intro video for this project pan. I originally had the um, MAC lipstick in, in, for the life of me, I can't remember. I don't remember, I'm sorry. I will put it in here um, somewhere. I had this lipstick in, it was a very nice coral shade. Um, for me, I would have just used this up for the sake of using it up and moving it, up, moving it out of my collection. And then a good friend of mine actually um, saw this and um, commented about how she liked the color. So um, this lipstick is actually going to her and I know that it will have a good home. She will enjoy the color, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the formula is awesome. So um, I decided that it would make more sense um, for this lipstick to go to her home and to be used up by her. And I decided to pull in another um, item as my bonus item. And this is another um, lip gloss. And it is the Art Deco Lip Brilliance Lip Gloss in the shade number 25. This is just a uh, nudie brown. I'm just going to show you real quick. So there's not too much of a um, difference to my own lip color here. I do like this a lot though. And I've been using this on and off for the past um, three weeks, give or take. And I do like this quite a bit. Um, it does moisturize and hydrate my lips a little bit, which I do appreciate. And the color is not too um, obtrusive and I can wear this with almost every eye look I chose um, so far. So um, this is quite nice and I'm just going to use this as my... Um, 11th item. I want to use up 10 of these items like I said and um, at the rate we're going um, this will be done by the next update of course. Maybe my blush as well so we will have two items down within two months. That is quite good. Everything else will take obviously a lot longer but I hope that um, maybe a month or two from now I can actually show you more progress with this guy here because at the moment I can't really mark this because it is in the on the black Part still and I, I don't have any color that marks well on black. So um, that being said I do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will have a great day. I will definitely see you guys soon but like I said I don't know how um, often I will be able to upload and um, I definitely don't know how often I will be able to reply to comments in the next two weeks. So I still hope you have a great day. If you have any comments regarding the products or the way I'm using them and if you have any suggestions, I would definitely love to hear those. So leave them in the comments down below and if you still want to, um, to join us, Mary and me, with our videos, then um, 
please do that. We would love to have um, more company. It's always fun. I will definitely be linking Mary's video in the info box down below. And um, I will see you guys soon. Bye.